try to make um, a 6x6 six six house for like a starter survival house and it'll be my first time trying it so hopefully it actually works and I don't mess it up too bad um, let me see that building's 7x7 seven seven, so I can pretty much measure it against there so that's going to be 6 right there if you need to, you can um, use torches like I do to measure it. I'm actually going to put it on the fifth one right there. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Then just line these up. So, yeah, that's working out. Okay, these are going to be four high, so it's already one, two, three, four, like that on each one. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, and then you're gonna connect these straight across. So right now it's actually um, five wide by six deep, but it'll be six by six when I'm done with it. That's how it looks so far. Now put these upside down stairs right here. There. See? That's how it looks so far. Okay. See what else am I supposed to do? I don't know why this chicken's in my way. Um, I think that's the middle. Yeah, it's pretty close to the middle. Okay, so that actually needs water. Put one thing of water in there. this chance. That's what he gets for getting in my way. Okay, so you do this. Do, do, do. There. Another one. More stairs. Okay. There you go. So you fill that in. That way you have a full staircase to get up to the second floor. Because that's where the actual house is going to um, be that you'd live in. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> to go right here. It's not the end, but it's the space right before the end. Okay, that's where the door is going to go. See? Alright, let me see. Um, need more stone bricks. So, that's right there. Right? Yeah, that's where it goes. One, two, three, four. That look good. Yeah, that should be good. 
So this one will be five high right there. Okay. And then you surround it with these on the top. I broke my legs. <laughs> okay, so that's how it looks so far. I need these on the bottom. All the way around. That, and then put them on the top. Okay. Of course, you have to surround your door like that. <coughs> Cover these corners. So it should look like that. Okay, this is how it looks so far. So let me see. Okay, like that. Well, you could fill this in if <coughs> if you wanted to, um, all the windows to match and be the same like that, or you could leave it like this to have a square one. It's up to you. Um, and you fill this in for the ceiling. I'll need more of these. Okay, there's this. Okay, I have to go have my character sleep because this is survival mode game, so if I don't sleep then the monsters will come out and I'm sure there'll be an annoying creeper and he'll just blow everything up and ruin all my work. I don't really create stuff in creative mode. I don't care much for it. I like to do it in survival mode. Plus that way once, um, once I'm done making the stuff and spending my time doing it, then I actually get to keep these things in my survival world. This is a pretty empty area right now. Um, it has some stuff, but this is like a newer base for me that I built, or that I'm starting to build. Okay, so what else do I have to do? I think that's all in here right now. Still have to do the roof. I don't need that. Okay. I put a couple fences and a gate in there, like that. Got some torches. I don't really need all these ones because I'm done measuring it from there. That's how that looks so far. See? We can go in here and farm and stuff if you want. You can extend that if you want to. You can make it a little bit bigger farm. Let me see. There. I know there's cooler stuff to farm with instead, but um, I'm trying to use materials that you can actually access early in the game for a um, starter survival house wouldn't help you if you're using a whole bunch of stuff that you won't have access to until you're long into the game. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I need the roof. Um, somewhere I have a bunch of dirt. I don't, oh yeah, I'm gonna need glass too. And 
I think my dirt's in this treasure chest down here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> First I'll put in my windows. I like them at least two tall instead of just one. That way you can jump up inside of them and look down so you can see more stuff. I know this side you can't see much because my storage building's right there. But. Okay, now I gotta do this. Let me see. I'll try it over here. can build the roof. And the roof's pretty simple. It's just a bunch of these stairs. It's not too complicated. Um, let's see. Oops, already messed up. And I broke my pickaxe. Anyways, you go to the end like this, but facing inwards, just jump up and you'll be able to put your first stair, and then do the block and another stair like that. Do the same thing on this side. Yeah, jump up one stair, put a block, another stair, and you put two more blocks like that. So, let me see, there's going to be a block there, there, two blocks like that. You got that stair and this stair. There you go. It's not that complicated, really. You don't have to use these good um, stone bricks for filling in the part that you'd never see. You can just use um, regular cobblestone or even dirt if you had to. When I did make these um, in the furnace, because you got to make stone first and then these, what I normally do is wait until I can get a bucket of lava and it saves you um, a lot of resources. But if you don't happen to find the iron and lava right at the start, then it don't matter. You can use coal. It still works just fine. Let me see. Should have a torch right up here by the door. If you don't want monsters appearing right there, spawning right outside your door at night time, that wouldn't be too good. Hmm. Well, that looks like that's it. I don't know. It's really bugging me. <laughs> that spot right there bugging me so much. There. Right, I'll just make it like that on this half. So it's just one um, stone brick in there and then two stairs like this for that side. Just it was bugging me too much with the hole in there that you could see through. That just didn't look cool. So, there it is when it's done. You have your farm area down here with your wheat. It's fenced off, has the torch lights and stuff. 
so no monsters can spawn in there and then upstairs you'd have the area where you can sleep um, you can fit a bed in here and you can fit your workstations and the treasure chest you could easily fit all of that in here um, yeah I even have some of the stuff just to show you um, let me see need a workstation yeah that Where would I want my bed if I was in here? <laughs> oh, you can do it like that. And if you put the treasure chest there, or you can put one at the end of the bed. Yeah, I think I'd put this here. And then I'd put that there. See, you can put these here. So yeah, you can store stuff in here. That's fine. It fits like this. Or let me see. There's a better way to organize this. there. That way when you walk in, instead of bumping into a solid chest, you can just go right on top of the bed as you maneuver around to use this stuff. You still have room for a second furnace right there. That way it um, doesn't take too long if you have a whole bunch of things to do. Yeah, I think that's about all you need. You can put a shelf up here if you want for decoration, put a flower pot, stuff like that but it's a functional starter house and it only takes up a 6x6 six six area so hopefully that helped you out